<laughs> this is gonna be funny. So in this episode, we're gonna show you how to install the control horns on the rudder. Now, some of the steps we've eliminated because we showed that in the stabilizer. So if you look up here, you'll be able to click on that video and you know watch that first. But uh, we'll just pick it up from once we have the horns assembled, sanded, and ready to go in. Good call. And Jason's gonna take over. Yep, so the techniques are still all the same. Mark out your covering, sand your hinges, get everything prepped. A little different here because it's a rudder. So a lot of uh, ARFs on the market will have one control horn that'll go all the way through yeah. uh, because they're expecting you to use pull pull. Um, Extreme Flight does things a little differently. I think they, uh, they thought ahead. So they actually use two separate hinges, one on either side. This way, if you're gonna use horns. a push pull, sorry, what did I say? Hinges. Hinges, okay. Sorry. So they have two separate horns. And the reason for this is if you're gonna use a push pull, so if you're gonna mount your rudder servo in the tail, you only need one side. You don't need the pull pull like when you're gonna mount it up front. Uh, I'm putting a 60cc uh, DA engine on this, which is a single, which is a little lighter than the 70 that could also be put on here. So I need a little more weight forward, so I'm gonna use pull pull, so we're gonna mount both servo, uh, or both control horns. Um, I have a little secret that I picked up years ago on this to just kind of make sure that our geometry is correct because you want to make sure that the pivot point for the control horn is right over the hinge line and we'll go over that in a minute. So the first couple steps are the same, get everything cut out, uh, get your epoxy on like we did before with the, the gun here. We're going to put a little bit in the slots. Nice to have a weighted rice bag there to keep things I from... I that was there for a reason. It was. I, th I thought ahead and then didn't use it. So you don't need me, Cecil. So I have less to do now. Oh, you know, I'm sorry, John. Can sorry. you forgive me? I'm going to squeeze a little more out here just to make sure we get a good stuff. fresh mix. There we go. Okay. And then we're going to lay it in the slots here. Nice, nice bead in there. Doesn't have to be anything too crazy, but there we go. Get our control horn here. We're going to do the same thing we did on the elevators. Like John said, if you if you haven't seen the elevator video yet, go check that out. It's got the different the method for sanding this down and for different all ways of cutting work. the covering away. All the prep work, yep. but like I said, it's all the same. Uh, it's even the same on the wings, so for the ailerons. So there we go. We got one down. Get this pressed in nice and easy. Our uh, bottom plate on this one actually fits pretty it's well. Yeah, I know, it's, it's amazing. Go ahead and wipe away our squeeze. Now we do the, uh, we don't have as much squeeze out on this one just because the slot for this goes all the way through the rudder. So we have some epoxy that's the pushing through to towards the other side. And it's not gonna go all the way out because this hin or this control horn, I keep calling them hinges, only goes about halfway, halfway through the rudder. But just wanna make sure you wipe away as much of this because the alcohol actually breaks down the epoxy and as you pull away, we'll kind of smear it. So a lot of times I'll wipe it with the, the dampened paper towel and then I'll go back with the dry paper towel and, and dry it up, get rid of any residue. So we're gonna make sure that's well stuck in. We're gonna go to the other side. We're gonna do the same thing. Wrap it up. And again, we want to make sure that we get enough epoxy in there so that it flows through both those holes in each of those horns and it creates a good bond and a nice uh, lock in um, cure. Exactly. The last thing you want is a control horn pulling loose in flight. It's never. That's never a good thing. Hey, it's never fun and it can be pretty ugly too. But it will test your pilot. It, it will. So there's the. Hey, you're always looking on the bright side, John. Okay. Well, this time at least. All right, there we go. So we did get a little more Maybe squeeze little out this time. One, I yeah. did. I went a little nuts. I'm sorry. So but you start talking about control horn pulling out. Next I'm like, thing nope. Yeah. This epoxy out <laughs> Next like thing crazy. you know, I've got a gallon of epoxy on my rudder. Again, wipe along the edge. Don't go too far away because you don't want to get residue everywhere. And you also don't want a lot of the alcohol going inside too because that will weaken the epoxy a little exactly. bit. So. Good. Clean up. Sorry about that. I don't know why I'm apologizing. It's my, my unit. It's your shop. Yeah. It's all good. As, uh, you are the record. Things is how you get. This is how you get banned, right? That's okay. Right. So now we're gonna make sure both sides are pushed in nicely. This epoxy does uh, dry up nice and clear, which is good. 
Uh, I'm going to tighten these down like we talked about before. You can see that's actually moving there because it's not tight. Yeah, I was going to go like that one. Go ahead. Yeah, come on. I'm just trying to stay out of the camera. Oh, good Wait, luck with that. You're going to yeah, get yelled at. I guess that, I could do it there. like Oh, look at that. Look at you. See. Fancy dude. Okay, cool. So now that's not fancy. still moving a little bit, but that's okay. And I'll show you why it's okay later. This oh, look at this. this See this one? This one's easy. We can include the video on this one. Fast forward that other one, okay? When yeah, you, when you like, edit. Yeah, the way the hand's going all over the place because he yeah. doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> Which way do I go? It's like a lost, a confused dog, yeah, right? Like, yeah. Doesn't know the way out. Okay. I had so now, all confusion. So now we've got that in. Now, like I said, what we want is we want this. I'll turn around this way for the camera here. So we want this nice and square. We want the center line of these bolts, e even with the center line of the hinge line, and we want it square to the center line of the rudder. So something that I picked up years ago is a Bosch level, laser level, and this does a, a T. This is really great. I mean, I use this for projects all over the house, you know, hanging pictures for the wife and uh, putting rudders on airplanes or vertical fins on airplanes, making yeah. sure wings are lined up, all that stuff. So it's really good for that. So uh, if I were alone, I'd have it on a tripod and I'd get out my vise with some, some um, uh, cushion, some uh, microfiber towels or something to keep it from, from damaging the rudder, but I'd tighten it down until it was, it was tight in there not really not tight but, but not, not gonna move around and then i would use that to line this up but since we've got two people today we can do this a little easier we're just gonna go ahead and turn this on here there we go it should be laying a vertical and a horizontal line as far as i know so do we have a vertical and a horizontal we have a horizontal why do we not have a vertical i don't know on the top there there we go and that, that's well one. one more there we go is that both no, no this is just good back and forth between those. No, I've used it with both before. Maybe, maybe I held it down. Yeah. No. Oh, great. That's awesome. So that's how this works. So you can tell that we prep a lot for these these videos. We do. Don't stare at it. I'm not. Yes, it's just a... Well, I can flip back and forth. But it says... I know, it shows it. It shows it right there. It looks like every third should do it. That is dumb. Hold up. Let me try don't, something else here. Don't buy the Bosch. No, buy the Bosch. It's there awesome. it is. There yeah, it's just the switch, the main switch is in the wrong spot. Well, my bad. Oh, you have to unlock it. Wow. Okay, so now we can see this over here. Uh, we'll probably have to lift it a little bit. Go ahead and lift it straight up. Yep. Oh, okay. So it's it's not sit. high enough. Here. Oh, yeah. let, me, let me get something a little higher here. Oh, you got it? Okay. Well, I thought I did, but I'm, okay. I'm blocking this thing, so let me move this over here. So there we go. We have cameras everywhere. Yeah. So, so now this will give me an idea. Okay. There we go. So now, a little better. So what you want to do is you want to line up this line on the center here, bring the cross down here. So now you make sure that those two are equal wherever they are. If you're looking at it, it's just touching the top of the control horn there, and it's fairly lined up on the center of the rudder itself. So that means we're pretty darn close to square. Yep. And that's what you're looking for. So all, ideally, this would be a little further forward, but as long as it's square, it's not a big deal. And actually you want it behind center if, if at all possible that way. So anyways, so just go, a lot of doing go, go with the getting it square. As close as possible. I can't see the center line. How are we there? Well, the center line, you went down there pretty good, uh, but it does, yeah, it's pretty square because that, okay. that's straight and these are right across the bolts. Perfect. That's what so we're looking for right good. there. Yep. So that's just a good tool for, for making sure everything's as square as possible. And turn getting the, yeah, go ahead so and turn that off. It's switch. the far switch on the far oh. side there. Whoa, I'm blind. I, no, I turned it down. John just gave me LASIK surgery. Well, you know, you need it. So now just like the elevators, we're going to go ahead and set this aside. I'm going to actually lay it like that, make sure it's not touching anything. Actually, we should probably stand it. Yeah, I was going to say, you got another Yeah, we'll stand it somewhere here like this. Nope. We'll Okay, so that is putting the control horns on your rudder, the pull-pull on our uh, Extreme Flight Yak. If you missed any of the finer details, like prepping of the control horns or the, the covering on the, on the rudder itself, go ahead and go back and check our video on doing the elevators, and you can, pick, right you can pick that up there. So. Yep, and if you do like these videos, please give them a like and mainly subscribe. That helps out the channel quite a bit. Uh, we do want subscribers. We're at 477 now. When we get to 500, we are going to give away a drone, so be yep. a part of that. Make sure you subscribe today, and that way you're going to be in that group to get it, possibly get it, 
Your own drone. Yeah. Free camera so, drone. How, how does it get any better than that? And some good information along the way. Uh, some, some good information. Yep. So we showed you how to put the horns in on the rudder, on the elevator. And next time, stay tuned. We're going to show you another building step yep. here very soon. So please follow along. Yes. All right. Here goes the clap. John's got the clap. Perfect. Stop it. Okay. You ready? Yes. Okay. We're looking there when you talk. Got it. So um, we're talking about the rudder. Rudder, yep. Okay. So today 